This is Naomi. We're here at the Tete Perico, which is in our neighborhood. We live in the same neighborhood, so it's a cable cart um, here in Puerto Plata. Naomi has worked in the organization for a few years, mostly um, in a, like a snack bar at one of the schools mm -hmm. in Munoz. But she ended up doing more than making tostadas and serving juice. She learned to calculate loan interest on small business loans that we did, mostly through um, Northeastern University and Virginia Tech. And um, <laughs> she was kind of like a community liaison when we would do bate scavenger hunts or bate um, um, talk shows. She would help gather community members and she ended up um, working in the second hand shop there a little bit in our in our little store, Christmas store where students get to redeem points with prizes. So we're gonna speak in Creole and I'll translate. Uh, <laughs> I just thanked her for being. First, we spoke in Creole, so let's do it in Spanish because her YouTube channel is in Spanish. So, um, just thanked her and she's, she's here to serve, she says. Um, okay. Okay. So she worked for two years in Munoz, like I was explaining. And so I'm going to explain what work, how she got kind of into more social work. You expliqué in English. Gabriel, no, no, don't pass in front. You expliqué que um, tu, lo que tú hiciste fue más de trabajar en la cafetería porque cuando tuvimos la búsqueda con los niños, tú eras como una colaboradora de la comunidad y con la tiendita, con los niños que tú Yo, te, yo vi tu papel más como, sí, trabajando en la cafetería, pero también como trabajadora social. Sí, me parece a mí me gusta. Sí, sí. I just said that I saw her as more than a snack bar worker, but like a social worker. And she's, I don't know if I told her that before. She's, oh, really? And she, she likes to share, she likes to work with the kids as well. Vamos a agarrar el bebé. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mariah está grabando y Mariah, Mariah's taping and the baby's over there too, so we're kind of doing this on a whim. Um, okay, entonces, muchos trabajos durante la pandemia pararon por el asunto. So lots of jobs stopped because of the pandemic, and so hers was one of them. And so she was a few months without work. And then she asked me if we had any work for her. Um, entonces, tú duraste varios meses y después me preguntaste si no había trabajo. Sí, entonces yo quería trabajar, yo no estaba sin casa. Yeah. Y te pedí trabajo. She wanted to work, she wasn't doing anything um, at home, so she asked if there was any work. Entonces, en ese mismo momento, um, alguien que estaba aquí en Puerto Plata y, y en la organización antes, me escribió pidiendo ayuda con, con este señor, este bebé. Y eh, yo dije, si tú quieres, tú, si tú quisiste cuidarlo. Y tú dijiste que sí. Sí, acepté. <laughs> so, um, at the same time that she asked for, it was any work available, um, somebody who was in the organization before and since moved to Santiago uh, wrote to me about a situation and um, asked if we could help with this baby. And so I knew he was a newborn and I knew that we weren't ready to have a newborn on our hands. So I asked if Naomi um, would be up for it. And she said yes. Entonces, de un día a otro, te trae un, un bebé nuevecito. Sí. <laughs> y estaba sorprendida. Hey, yeah. Sí, yo pensaba que era más grande. Estaba pero, sorprendida. Eh, sí, <laughs> era, era un bebé y lo cuidé. Yeah, she thought oh, it was going to be a bigger bien. baby. Me gusta lo bien. Sí. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit surprising that when she asked for work that she was brought a new, newborn baby right away. That wasn't her role before, but she likes babies. ¿Y tú tienes un hijo? Sí, yo tengo She has a seven-year-old son. Okay, entonces, eh, durante seis meses, y primero era la oportunidad 
oportunidad de trabajar, sí. pero después volvió en otra cosa, ¿no verdad? <laughs> so first it was a work opportunity, but then it turned into something else, didn't it? Porque yo sé cómo es cuando cuida a un bebé así, sí. que la corazón en, eh, su corazón entra, sí. <laughs> pega. Sí, lo extrañé mucho, pero ya hoy lo volví a ver. Yeah, okay. y estoy muy agradecida. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so um, just said how it starts off as a job, uh, it started off as a job, and then it turned into something else, and she was really sad when he left. Because we didn't know exactly the date because we were preparing at the group home to be able to have a baby and then the woman who was working before for her to come back and work and so she was definitely um, very sad to see him go but she's happy she got to come see him again and we live nearby so she, she wants to be a part of his life. Entonces, ¿tú quieres siempre verlo y ser como un sí, familia para él? <laughs> yeah, so she wants to stay in his life. I think it's beautiful. She wants to stay in his life. She wants to be like a second or third mother to him, she said. Okay. Entonces, si eso, si una situación similar presenta en otro momento eh, con otro niño, por ejemplo, ¿te gustaría hacerlo de nuevo? ¿Es algo que te gustaría hacer de nuevo o no? Sí, me, me gustaría hacerlo, pero si, si aparece yo, y no hay de otra, yo lo hago, pero si yo tengo otro trabajo, yeah. me va a ser difícil aceptar. Yeah. I said, if this same situation were to um, present itself again, would you do it again, or would you opt to not do it? And she said, yeah, if um, the situation were to come up again with a different child, I would do it if I don't already have another job. If I have another job, then it'll be difficult to do. Exacto. Y tú estás estudiando inglés. She's studying English. Y te graduaste de... Sí. Did you graduate from high school? En el año pasado. Sí, el año pasado. Last year. Felicidades. Gracias. Sí. Y um, tiene un canal tú, tú solo o tú y yo tiene un canal. Los dos trabajamos en el canal. Okay. So she and her partner Jillson have a. Um, so the, the, it's like a. Here in the Dominican Republic, lots of times you just turn, use the term either in Spanish or in Creole, use the term husband and wife. It's like a, I can't think of what's the term. I don't think that they're legally married, but uh, common law marriage, where you know they they live together for a certain number of years, and, and the, just the language you use is husband and wife. So I just said partner um, because it doesn't translate into English the same. Um, yo estaba explicando que yo dije compañero, yo no dije esposo, porque aquí dice esposo y uh, 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 es un chico diferente en inglés. Sí, dice novio. Novio, pero aquí dice esposo porque dice junto. Sí. Sí. <laughs> yeah, I just said, oh, you can say boyfriend. Anyways, yeah, so they have a YouTube channel, and it's super silly and cute. Yo dije que es muy, me hace reírse su canal. <laughs> sí, hay muchas cosas, hay muchos videos chistosos también. They have lots of silly. Sí, hay variedades de videos. Yeah, they have a variety of videos. ¿Y cómo se llama? Uh, Naomi Petit. So her name is Naomi Petit Home, and that's the YouTube channel, so we'll share it um, if anybody wants to check it out. And now you're going to start in Feton, in Creole? Yes, now I'm going to start with a series called My Peores Errores, it's like a telenovela, but it's going to be less, but it's not going to be like... Una telenovela con 70, 100 episodios, va a ser como de 5 a 6 episodios, no okay. va a ser tan largo. So, they're starting a little um, soap opera. It's not going to be like 60 episodes, it's going to be like 6 or so episodes. ¿Y de qué se trata? What's it about? Se trata de, de una chica que conoció a un muchacho en un parque. Y... It's about a girl that met a boy in a park. ¿Cómo se llama? Mis peor, mis peor error. Oh, it's called my worst error, my worst mistake. Okay. Entonces, cuando la muchacha conoció, hay mucha, hay muchachos en el parque, la muchacha, la muchacha se enamoró de un muchacho, la muchacha teniendo su novio. Uh -huh. Pero el muchacho que, que ella conoció en el parque era un mujeriego, un hombre que, que usaba las mujeres. Uh, sí, pero la muchacha se enamoró de él y después ella va a dejar a su novio mm. que le trataba bien, que no. la quería mucho. Entonces, el muchacho después de usarla, ella lo va a dejar. Mm, Debe traducir. Sí. So, the theme of the soap opera 
is she, um, or not she, tu eres la chica? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she plays the main character, the female. She has a boyfriend already, but then she meets a guy in the park, and she falls in love with him, and she ends up leaving her boyfriend for him, but he's actually a bad guy that uses women, and his, her prior boyfriend was a good guy that treated her well. Okay, so the, the following episodes show how this is her worst mistake, and she's going to lose her first boyfriend who tried to treat her well, and she's going to lose the other guy that treated her bad, so it's her worst mistake. Muy bien. It doesn't cuando comenzó este canal. When did you start this YouTube channel? Yo tengo como casi un año con la cámara, pero no había subido video. Yo subía a hablar de TikTok, todo lo que yo hacía de TikTok, pero ahora como TikTok, como YouTube no acepta, no monetiza video de otra persona, entonces empecé a hacer mi propio video para subirlo en el canal. Empecé a hacer con mi trenza y después ahora empecé con hacer. Okay. So she used to do a lot of TikTok videos. She did it. She started it for about a year. She's done braids, and now she's starting her own series. Um, entonces, es algo que comenzaste um, porque estabas muy aburrido durante sí. la pandemia. Sí. <laughs> so, so Estaba something... muy aburrida en la pandemia. No tenía nada que hacer. No tenía trabajo. Y empecé a hacer, empecé a hacer eso para divertirme un poco y. Relajarme. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Mari, are you taping us? Oh, okay. So it's something that, yeah, she started from being bored during the pandemic and she wasn't working um, to just have some fun, basically. Okay. Do you have a lot of followers? Do you have a lot of followers? Woo! Woo! <laughs> she has six, almost 7,000, 6,900 some followers. ¿Y cómo que alcanzaste eso? ¿Cómo llegaste a eso? Con los videos de TikTok que yo, que yo subí, a la gente iba mucho a ver esos videos, pero ya ahora, como yo no subo videos de TikTok, se ha bajado un poco oh. las vistas. It was mostly the TikTok videos that were was getting lots of views. Now that she's not doing TikTok as much, it's going down. But so her partner, Jilson, speaks English well, and she's speaking English. So let me talk about that. Como Jilson habla inglés bien, y tú estás aprendiendo inglés, quizás puede tener más fanáticos de que hablan inglés. Si lo hacen inglés. O si tiene subtítulos. Sí, tiene subtítulos. Sí, tiene subtítulos. En español no tiene subtítulos en inglés, pero no tiene. Okay, so they have Spanish subtitles. Might be a good way for people practicing their Spanish as well. Pero no va a tener inglés. Tal vez depende como como tenemos si hay si hay mucho público de 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 inglés que habla inglés podemos traducirlo. Okay. Pero ahora tenemos más españoles que inglés. Okay, so now it's mostly Spanish. Dominican viewers. So if you watch it in English and you want to see it in English, then write in her comments. Yo dije que si tú lo miras y que lo quieres en inglés, que escriben los comentarios. Porque ustedes son capaces de poner en inglés. Okay, sorry we're talking with the baby here. We're just going to do these things on a whim whenever we can get together. So Ezra's got to go. But thank you for watching. You digo, disculpa por el bebé y la bulla que lo asamble. Hacemos así cuando tenemos tiempo. Sí. Pero eso tiene que irse porque quiere leche. Bye, bye. Gracias. Okay, thanks. Bye.